This is Fox 25 Morning News. Family time is important time, and nowadays, you know, it's tough for working parents to maintain balance in their lives. However, interacting with your kids is essential for their success. And as the weather gets better, interacting outdoors is even better. Joining us this morning with some outdoor activities for families is a working mom and a gardening coach. This is Rebecca Cohen. She is the founder and president of Rebecca Plants. Nice to see Good you Good morning. Today. Here from the D.C. area. Absolutely. We appreciate you coming up Thank to see you. us. It is hard to find that balance when you have the kids and you're a working mom and you want to give them time, but you've got other things that are going on. So when the weather gets nice, this is the time to take advantage. Absolutely. And you know what? It only takes as little as 15 to 30 minutes, and then it leads to more activity outside, sure. and everybody's having a great time. Okay. Well, let's take a look at some of the items that you have sure. for us today. I brought along some of my favorites of my 50 outdoor activities for busy families, and some of these are just, you know, childhood staples that we all need reminding on a daily basis that are there for us whenever yeah. we need them. This is it. Parents, this is a stress reliever. It takes you back in time, and it, that's a good thing. It really does. Post this by the door. You know, we've got some things like bubbles, a childhood staple. Yes. And I tell encourage parents as much as possible to get outside with your bubbles because it leads to more activity That's right. outside. Chasing bubbles, all that kind of thing. I love this idea. Rebecca, I haven't thought race. of this for such a long time. Re really? Yeah. And, you know, it's a great thing for family and friends when you get together or even just with your kids. You know, you can have all sorts of variations on the game, relay races between the adults and kids. It's so much fun. A great idea. Okay, what have we got here? Well, this is a take on an archaeological dig. Of course, on a beautiful day, we all love to dig in the dirt and dig in the sandbox. But on a rainy day when it's hard to get outside, sure. you, know, you can bring this, this, the feeling and discovery inside. You've got a plastic tub rice which we all have at home and hide objects in there for your kids we've got shells and shapes and measuring cups yep things and then when they pull them out have them tell you all about them huh exactly Let's hear all about it all right terrific now what have we got here oh, I think we're planting something this is one of my favorites It's a windowsill herb garden okay. and all you need is a cardboard egg container and we've got some soil or potting mix you just fill the holes with soil and I have a variety of herb seeds here and what's great about this is you plant different seeds in each of the holes take some water we've got a cotton ball for little hands it's perfect <laughs> exactly. for watering every day you don't yeah. over water in yeah. a sunny window cell you dip it in the water yeah. and just squeeze it perfect. on top of the soil and water every day and in one month you'll have either herb seedlings that you can plant to, into your garden or you have a great gift for Mother's Day. That's very cute. This is a good idea. The little ones really will get a kick out of that too watching it Definitely. Grow. Okay, what have we got? A backpack. This I call my outdoor to-go kit. Okay. You want to keep it in your closet by the door or in your car and it keeps us prepared for spontaneous activity outside but it's also a great reminder that we can have fun at any time. We've got your picnic blanket, towels for any wet clothes or muddy shoes, <laughs> right. a first aid kit just in case, mm -hmm. water bottles for yeah. drinks, and a backpack for any snacks or activities that you want to take along Absolutely. with you. Yeah, it's smart. You keep this close at hand and you're more likely to use it more you likely. You really to get are. Out there. When you're not thinking about all the mud trekking in your house, if you if you've got everything right there, you mm -hmm. are more likely to take advantage of Most the definitely. exercise. And finally you have another one. I do. Of course everyone loves kite flying. And you don't need a perfect day to fly a kite. No, uh, but uh, well, you do need Doug Meehan apparently. apparently. Well, let's take a look and see. There he goes. We, now this is so cute. We just flew this kite on the National Mall for the Cherry Blossom Festival and I actually surprised people walking by if they wanted to fly a kite. And as you can see, it's so much fun. That is a cute kite. Where do you get that, Rebecca? You know what? Any big box store is selling them really? exactly at this time of year. Yeah, that is a fun thing because you don't even have to have, you can do it just like what Doug's doing right here. You, you, you can. Just run and you don't, don't even just need any wind. You can take that kite inside. That's fantastic. Oh, that is a lot of fun. That's a terrific idea. Yeah. Doug, thank you. You're the best. Great ideas. And this is just a, a sampling because you have 50 great ideas. It really is. And where do we go about finding all 50 of just them? Just go to my website, RebeccaPlants.com. Mm -hmm. It's all about simple gardening, outdoor lifestyle that inspires us to get outside and improve our well-being. Well, you know what, folks? The weather is getting better. Cindy's even told us the temperatures are getting better as the week goes on. Get your kids outside and enjoy the nice weather. Great to see you. Good thank to you. see you, too. Very much thank great you. ideas. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back to wrap things up.